Hi, I'm Roger Wagner, Superintendent President of Victor Valley College. Welcome to the November edition of In Touch, In Tune. I don't see how it's hardly possible, but we are already well past the halfway point for the fall semester. As it said, time stops for no one. In light of recent events on and near our campus, I want to provide you with an updated information on campus security. I know it's on your minds, and I know it's on my mind. We are continuing our work on the new mass notification system and do expect that we were only days away from it being fully functional. It has been a long process, but one that will be worth waiting for. I will give us the ability to communicate with everyone on campus, even those outside of buildings, and will enable us to hear emergency messages and directions on what actions we should be taking. In the meantime, we've implemented a new low threat, low credibility message that we have already used twice over the past two weeks. A height and security message. The height and security message will be used and sent out when we have unconfirmed intelligence or information that would possibly present a public safety concern on our campus. In addition, at the beginning of the spring semester, our faculty and staff will be attending mandatory ALICE training. ALICE stands for Alert, Lockdown, Inform, Counter, and Evacuate. This nationally recognized training program was recently hosted on our campus and five of our own staff received certification to offer the training. As soon as faculty and staff have the training, we'll be offering open sessions for students to attend anytime they'd like. I want to thank our College Diversity Committee for bringing in an outstanding program this month. The 10 Myths of Social Justice Seminar was presented to a full house by the founder of Social Justice Institute, Vernon A. Wall. I have heard nothing but great comments about this seminar and hope there will be more to come in the future. Thanks again to our Diversity Committee. On October 28th, the Victor Valley College Foundation teamed up with High Desert Opportunity to join in the Foundation's annual economic summit. The outcome of this merger is the first High Desert Opportunity Summit. The program included multiple presenters and a workforce panel discussion. All programs were focused on our local and regional economy and on the labor skills that our area businesses and industries need. The highlight of the summer summit was the keynote speaker, Chris Gardner. Chris is the author of the book, The Pursuit of Happiness. Chris's story was portrayed by actor Will Smith in the movie by the same name. His message and presentation was one I wish everybody could have heard. His wisdom and thoughts on self-made opportunity was truly thought-provoking. We are fortunate to have a foundation that supports many of our academic and non-academic programs and services at the college. One of them is the STEM, Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math Lecture Series that is now in its fourth year. Renowned planetary scientist Dr. Mark Showalter offered us a glimpse into the journey of the New Horizon spacecraft. The New Horizon has shot past Pluto, its original mission, and is now a billion miles away beyond the target and now looking for Ultim Thule. Dr. Shoewalter does a great job of explaining these where everybody can understand these complicated missions. Recently, I was able to attend our High Desert Principals Advisory Meeting out at the Southern Logistics Airport. The meeting was hosted by Commercial Aviation, more commonly known as COMAV. In addition to COMAV, there were representatives from General Atomics, General Electric Aviation, and other employers. It was a great opportunity for our area employers to speak with our educational partners on what their current and future workforce needs are and what they are expected to be over the next few years. I want to close with wishing each of you a safe and bountiful Thanksgiving holiday. As we approach Thanksgiving holiday, I'd like to remind you that while we will be with our family and friends, many in our community and across our nation will not. This is a great time to highlight the giving part of Thanksgiving. The holidays are typically a difficult time for our unemployed and underemployed and homeless people, as well as for thousands of military members serving us here and abroad. Please keep this in mind as you celebrate and take time to find a way to share a little of what you have with someone in need. Until next month, travel safe and enjoy your holiday weekend.